Hello everyone, this is Pico Entertainment and we are back again. And we're just going to talk now a quick update on football. Well, update, you all know the news if you follow football. But for anybody that doesn't know, the expected postponement of the European Championships this year, you know, was announced, you know, a couple of days ago. They're going to postpone it to 2021 um, next year. So just quick thoughts on it. It's no real surprise, you know, this was to be expected. I, I'm sure I said this like a lot of people said this way back when we first started to see the coronavirus take place on a massive scale and particularly when we started seeing um, within football all the leagues being postponed, being cancelled. The question was raised then about the Euros as well because even though the virus was happening... Games are still taking place, you know, some behind closed doors, as I mentioned previously, with Champions League and other games are still going on. So I think people in the sport were kind of hopeful that the Euros were still going to happen. Now, I thought they were never going to happen because for anyone who doesn't know, the format of this year, this kind of anniversary version of the European Championship this year, was that it was going to take place across all or 12, I think it was at least 12 different countries within Europe. You know, normally, as you know, the tour any tournament takes place within one country, they were going to celebrate by going around Europe. And I can remember when that was announced, there was a whole controversy about that back then, even before the whole virus thing came to, you know, came to a head. You know, people were arguing, well, you're going to ask fans to do all this travelling all over Europe, you know, it's crazy the amount of money in that that you're asking him to pay. So I remember it was a controversial decision back then. But yeah, once we saw the virus really come about, yeah, it it, it wasn't feasible. I've said multiple videos, it wasn't feasible that this was ever going to take place. There's no way, even behind closed doors, because the problem with closed doors is that if you're still asking teams and clubs to travel all over the place it's still potential risk spread yeah if you're going to do um closed doors for europe you'd have to kind of pin it down in one location and just have the matches all played there but there's too many teams involved you know coming over from different locations it's just it's it's just not feasible it's just not and Again, I've made comments on previous videos when I've talked about the leagues, but what the difference was in the league, you, you're basically having what? You've got eight or nine games left. So you could have two weekly intervals where you can get five or six games done out of the way. Interval in between, another week or two, get two, three games done. The league's finished, right? But obviously you've still got huge amount of games with the European Championship, especially when you've expanded the tournament, yeah. So it's a lot more teams coming across from a whole lot of different places. It just wasn't feasible. It just wasn't workable. It was never going to happen. We all thought it was going to get postponed. So again, just the right decision on there. And of course, now the positive here is that it allows now the leagues and the cup competitions that have been suspended um, currently until April, it gives them more time to finish. As I've pointed out, and many others have pointed out, that the idea being is that you could postpone the Euros and allow teams to finish off their leagues in July, in June, in July, in August, right? It just gives them a couple more months, again, where you can spread out the games play behind closed doors and just have a couple of intervals, just allow these leagues to finish. Because I think, again, you should look to finish the leagues and the tournaments that have been ongoing any way you can, right? Because they've been ongoing for a certain amount of months. It just it just wouldn't seem right and would hurt the game if you just voided them and didn't finish them, right? Whereas the Euros haven't started yet. So on the one hand, it's not as impactful if you don't... Um, start the tournament now as opposed to if we did start the tournament and avoid it halfway through so that's the main positive of this decision the negative of course i understand is the huge financial loss you know if, you know football relies on the world cup and the tournament you know all the the gate revenue and endorsement revenue and the ratings and the broadcasting etc 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 you know huge amount of income is reliant on these big tournaments you know, the sport relies on, again, I've spoke about all the time, football being a sport very much unified as one with UEFA and FIFA, etc. So 
these important these tournaments are important to sport. I understand that, but in the general run of things, you know, with the virus the way it is right now, it just it just wasn't a possibility. And the, I'm just surprised it wasn't announced earlier. You know, this should, announcement really should have come along, really at the same time that they announced they were going to postpone all leagues for the next kind of um, two, three, four weeks. That's when the announcement should have come for your rose, right? That, but you know, it's done now and it's pushed back to next year. Hopefully, by next year, we're in a much better situation you know hopefully we're in a case where we can start to see some sort of fascination taking place i'm probably being too optimistic there but at the very least we can hopefully see by next year much more slowing down and containment of the disease and not only that a better understanding of the disease and hopefully there'll be more actions that we as a society can take to prevent us from um you know getting infected by the seas in the long run so yeah it, it that's it really there's no more to say there's no real controversy there's no real outrage people knew this they expected this you know during the format of the tournament it was never going to go ahead and i'm anticipating i'm still stating that the olympics are not going to go ahead you know i think they're going to get cancelled as well but we'll wait and see they're adamant because they want to see if they can try and push it through. But I, I just don't think the Olympics are going to happen. I've talked about other sports. Wimbledon, I think, is going to get pushed back. We've seen already the French Open, you know, tennis now, that that got pushed back to September as well. So, yeah, we're just going to see this across the board. It's unfortunate, I know. We love it when the, the big kind of nation, national tournaments take place. It's all great. You know, it's one of those where, even if you do not support a Vaney club in particular... You know, football can bring interest from those fans as well. You know, so even if they don't watch any of the Premier League or the Liga or Serie A, they'll still go and watch these, you know, the European Championships, the World Cup, etc. So it's unfortunate, but right now it's just a necessity. So there's not really a lot more I can say on that. That's, you know, it, it's just the way it is. And, you know, we're going to see things like this happening, unfortunately, going forward. So let me know what you think of the comments below. Um, do you agree with this decision or were you one of those people who felt that maybe they could have gone ahead with the Euros at a later date? I don't really see that because, again, if we're extending time to get the current season out of the way, then, of course, we don't want that to then impact the new season going ahead for 2020-2021. I don't see how you can have a Euros later on. Um, but if you know a way you can do that, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's it really. A good decision, a right decision. And then we'll see what happens on there. And I'll continue to keep updated as things progress. So for now, take care of yourselves again. Wash your hands. Stay safe distance and take care of yourselves. And I will see you very soon.